This is the Freshman Book 1, Chapter 2. Secrets are revealed as you and your new roommates play a slightly altered game of truth or dare. Chapter 2, Rooftop Games. Chris, you're my roommate? That's why I recognize the name Mary. Nice to see you again, roomie. Yeah, great to see you too. So, what about this roof, huh? You can see the whole town from up here. Yeah, so beautiful. Beautiful? I can only assume you're talking about me. I wasn't... I'm just messing with you. I know, I know. I can come on a bit strong. The name's Zack, but you can call me your number one fan because you are straight up crushing that look. Nice to meet you. It sounds like you know fashion. Well, one of my ex-boyfriends was a model, so... kind of? I'd say that makes you a resident fashion expert. Okay. Please promise me that means we can go shopping together sometime. Yes. Ah! Only if I get to come too! Sounds like fun. I feel like we're still missing someone. Here... Uh, there he is. At the far end of the roof, you spot a guy sitting by himself, looking out at the stars. Tyler, enough with this shy nerd act. Get over here and talk to our new roommate. Oh, hey there. I was just trying to see if I could spot Cassiopeia. The constellations are just a little different here than back home in California. I like him already. You're into stargazing? I used to do that all the time when I was little. Oh, really? Mary, sidebar. Zack pulls you aside. Okay, just to fill you in, my boy Tyler has a massive Insta crush on Abby. And I'm making it my mission in life to get those two crazy kids together. Are you with me? You want me to play matchmaker with you? Consider this match made. This is gonna be awesome. Glad to have you on board. Let's get started. As you head back to the group, Zack pretends to trip and accidentally pushes Abby into Tyler. Very smooth. Relationship improved. Tyler and Abby's relationship will be affected. Tyler, I'm so sorry. I, er, uh, thanks for catching me. <laughs> I love them so much. Anytime. Uh, I mean, any time you fall into me. Not any other time. This could take a while. So, what now? I think this is supposed to be a party, right? Maybe we could start with some drinks? Uh, Mary, I've got a bottle of wine down in my room. Want to help me go get it? This is the part I never got. I mean... Yes, it happens, but it's so... How do you already have a bottle of wine? Well, I don't know, I guess people have their ways. Do we really need two people to grab a bottle of... Just come on. Okay, confess. You're into Chris, aren't you? What? Me and Chris? I'm just trying to warn you. I'm pretty sure he mentioned something about a girlfriend. What? You mean Becca? That bossy sorority girl we ran into at Welcome Week? Yeah, when we first met, she was like exorcist level possessive of him. No, the girl Chris mentioned wasn't Becca. It was someone from back home. Huh, now I'm curious. I need to know if Chris is single. Because I'm just that nosy. We're living with this guy. We have a right to know if he's available. That's not how it works. Makes sense to me. I'm pretty sure I know how to get him to spill his guts. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Watch and learn, my young apprentice. Aren't we pretty much the same age? Details, details. If we play our cards right, you'll get to ask Chris anything you want. 
Back on the rooftop, Caitlin opens the bottle of wine and starts pouring it into glasses. She leans over and whispers to you. This is step one. Okay. Caitlin hands Chris a glass of wine. Huh, I'm more of a beer guy, but thanks. Want a drink, Mary? Wine... Uh, sure. Is this part of the plan? A woman after my own heart. Tyler and Zach pass, pass out the glasses and you all clink yours together. To an unforgettable freshman years. Cheers, everyone. Please drink responsibly. I'll drink to that. So, what now? I'm glad you asked, Abby. I think it's time for us to play some truth or truth. What's that? It's truth or dare, except you have to pick truth. Did she get this idea from Jimmy Fallon? No dares? So no one's running naked through the quad? All in good time. We've got a whole year together, after all. Fair point. Since it was your suggestion, why don't you answer the first truth, Caitlin? Oh, why don't we start with someone else? Like... Chris, for example. Nice try. Go ahead, Mary. Ask her something. Okay, Caitlin. Um... What's your most embarrassing secret? Uh, you just had to go there, didn't you? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. No, no. Rules are rules. My most embarrassing secret is... Probably the fact that you can still access my MySpace site from middle school. I forgot my login info, so my awkward goth face is still on the internet for the whole world to see. Oh my god, you have to show us. No way, not happening. Besides, you guys couldn't handle XX Sorrowful Raven 95 XX's poetry. Poetry? Searching that username now, and, oh god, this is amazing. You all crowd around Tyler's phone screen to see middle school Caitlin in tattered fishnets and combat boots, pouting through smeared eyeshadow. No, 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 please don't look. Favorite band, Evanescence? Latest status, we are all the masks we wear, and mine is weeping. <laughs> That's actually really good. This is gold. Oh, poor Caitlin. Hey, if you need to cry, we're here for you. Very funny. Let's move on, shall we? I mean... That's... I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, everyone has their own little quirks. So it's fine. Soon, it's Zach's turn to ask a question. He puts on an, an exaggerated thinking face and scratches his chin. Hmm, what to ask, what to ask. Got it. I want someone to tell me their ultimate fancy. Sorry, ultimate fantasy. This is some strong wine. Or you're a total lightweight. Says the girl who's gone from sitting on the couch to lying on the ground after two glasses. What? It's comfortable. By the way, they have an entire deck to themselves, too. That's really not fair. So, Zach, whose ultimate fancy did you want to hear about? You know what? I already forgot. Who should I ask, Mary? Um... Actually, maybe we can get, um... The two crazy kids together. Ah, uh, let's see. Should I ask Abby or should I ask Tyler? I'm gonna ask Tyler. Okay, Tyler, I want to know your ultimate fantasy. That's easy. The Black Cauldron. <laughs> Best fantasy book ever. You know... I actually prefer Turand Wanderer, but the whole series is really good. 
Not the movie, though. The movie is really disappointing if you've read the books. That's not what I meant. Huh? Oh. Hey, technically I answered your question, so... Oh, fine. Let's just move along. The game continues as you wait for your opportunity to ask Chris a, cross Chris a question. Uh, don't freak out, but I've never actually kissed a guy. Wait, not even one? I've kissed, like, twenty. On the same day? Very funny, Tyler. Although, three of them were on the same day, yeah. And the best part is, I never got caught. Okay, you're officially the coolest person I've ever met. Who skinny dips in a public pool? Heroes, Mary. Heroes. Okay, Tyler, I dare you to kiss. You can't dare me to kiss anyone. There are no dares. Oh yeah, I forgot. They're really drinking that ball. Until finally... Looks like it's your question... Your turn to ask me a question, Mary. Caitlin leans over to whisper to you while you think of a question. Try not to be too obvious, Mary. Chris... Um, have you ever been in love? Dang, Mary going straight for the serious topics. It's okay. Yeah, I was in love once. Throughout most of high school, actually. So you dated the same girl through all of high school? Basically, her pretty bad when she broke it off, but those were good times. Sounds like she was pretty special to you. She was. I wasn't going to go into this, but... My ex's name is Nicole, and she's the first person I ever loved. We were together for three years, but when she decided to go on go to another college, she dumped me on the spot. I mean... It sucks, but... It's not always like a... Terrible idea to do that. Because long term, lo sorry, long distance relationships are really hard. That's so harsh. To be honest, I'm still not over her, and it'll probably be a while before I am. That's why I promised myself that I'm just going to have fun here. No serious relationships for at least a year. That always works out, huh? That's. Yeah. yeah, I'm not going to call him an idiot. That's smart. You've got to protect yourself. And it wouldn't be fair to the next girl you date if you're still not over your ex. Exactly. Listen, enough about me. Can I ask Mary a question in return? What do the rules say, Caitlin? So far it seems like the rules are whatever Caitlin wants them to be. Ask away, Chris. Okay, Mary, what's your take on love? My take on love? Um... I mean, based on the way this book is gonna go, I fall in love way too easily. Better than le never falling in love, right? Yeah. It's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. Maybe. Sometimes I wonder if it's worth the pain, though. I think it is. Besides, with the right person, it doesn't have to be painful. I guess I'll find out when the time comes. Interesting. Very interesting. A few rounds of drinks and questions later, Abby looks at her phone to check the time. Well, I've hit my embarrassment quota for the night, so I think I'm going to turn in. What? It's so early. It's two in the morning. Exactly. Honestly, I am a little tired, but I just want to say this is the most fun I've ever had. Me too. It's going to be an amazing year. I'm so glad I have you guys as sweet mates. And on that note, I'll see you in the morning. 
I actually think I'll... I actually think I'll head to bed, too. Besides, we've got plenty of nights like this to look forward to, right? I guess you're right. Yeah, but also... Cherish, cherish the nights you do have. Because sometimes you don't know what will happen in the future. And sometimes things you mean to do in the future don't end up happening. And it's sad. Especially when there are large groups of people involved. As Caitlin and the others leave the roof, she shoots you and Chris one last meaningful look. What was that look all about? Uh, nothing. Just one of those looks, I guess. You gaze out over the starlit campus, shivering in the night air. So, not tired? Not yet. And I want to savor this, you know? Our first night together is a sweet. It all starts here. You nervous? A little. You? Oh, I'm terrified. But it's a, it's a good kind of terrified. And so long as you're around, I'd say there's a lot to look forward to. Chris, <laughs> you must think you're pretty smooth, huh? Not at all. I've dated exactly one girl, Mary. Or, one girl, Mary, unless you're counting the time I picked a flower for a girl in my kindergarten class. I'm the exact opposite of smooth, trust me. Well, you could have fooled me. Really? Really, but don't let it go to your head, big guy. Listen, I know I must be f throwing out mixed signals. The truth is, I'm really not looking to start anything serious. But here, in this moment with you, things just feel right. Chris moves to sit closer to you and takes your hand, cautiously at first. When you don't pull away, he interlaces his fingers with yours and smiles down at you. <laughs> uh, I think it's time we call it a night. Sorry, Chris. I mean, you just said you weren't interested, sort of, and then you said you were. Oh, yeah, I guess it is a bit late. Relationship damage. Oh, your relationship will be affected. Sorry if I was coming on a little too strong. That's not it. It's just been a long day, you know? And as nice as this is, a girl's got to get some sleep now and then. Gotcha. Maybe we can talk more later. Seems unavoidable. We do live in the same suite, after all. Right. How could I forget? Good night, Chris. Night, Mary. You wake up to the sound of your phone ringing. Ugh, what time is it? You grope in the sheets for your phone and find it beside your pillow. Four missed calls from my parents? What the? You walk down the hall and step out in the chill morning air to take a call. Mom, what's going on? Why did you guys call me four times? Mary, there's something I have to tell you. Did something happen? What's wrong? It's your father. He, he lost his job. We can't pay your tuition. But, but I haven't even started classes yet. Mom. Uh, don't worry. I'll figure something out. We're so, so sorry about this, Mary. We're going to make this right, okay? Your father just needs some time to find a new job. We love you. Yeah, I love you too. You hang up the phone. This can't be happening. What am I going to do? Uh, later. Oh, that was the end. Okay. Uh, chapter 3 next.